going on everybody? Voodoo with you. And tonight we are going to be doing another channel update. This update covers the week of Monday, February 20th through Sunday, February 26th of 2012. The last full week of February already. And lots of things to talk about in the update. Some disappointing news, unfortunately, that I have to share. And uh, But we'll get to the bad news later. So first of all, like we always do, I will take a look back at last week. The things that I did, things I uploaded to my YouTube channel. Um, so last week was definitely a much quieter week than the week before it when we had all that gameplay of Darkness 2 and Gotham City Imposters and all that stuff. This week was a lot um, was a lot more low-key, okay? Um, there was one uh, major release this week. I did do some more Gotham City Imposters gameplay earlier in the week, so... If you enjoy Gotham City Imposters, you like my gameplay of that game, you can head over to the Gotham City Imposters playlist. I've put new videos on there since last week, so go check those out. Um, but the major release this week that I at least attempted to play was Twist the Metal. And I did uh, footage of the campaign, the story mode of Twist the Metal. I actually stopped in the middle of the campaign of Twist the Metal because it was very frustrating. I was not enjoying it at all, and I was just getting tired and frustrated with the game, and I didn't want to play it anymore. I didn't want to sit there for hours and hours and hours playing the same level over and over and over again, uh, and torturing myself. You know, since I'm not doing this for money, it's not that important for me to really push through games that I really dislike. Um, so I didn't continue with it. Now, for the multiplayer of Twist of Metal, the first three multiplayer matches I did were actually in a room with John Rambo and OJ. I actually just happened to be on to, to jump on Twitter and, and see that they had posted that they created a room, so I hopped on real quick. Unfortunately, I got in the room a little late and was only able to do about three matches with them before they uh, called it a night. But I did get those matches and have them up uh, up now. Then I decided, you know, I'm going to sit down and do a, a full set of multiplayer matches, play all the modes so I can review it. I got through one match perfectly fine, the second match started, <clears throat> after about a minute it kicked us out and I literally tried for almost 10 minutes after that to try to get into another match, fighting the matchmaking and it never worked. I could never get into another match, no matter what I did, I tried multiple things, it kept not allowing me to join, it kept lying about the number of players in a room, it would say it had 8 out of 15 players, you, if, if you could actually join the room it would only say there was 2 players in the room. Um, it was a nightmare and it didn't work and I actually recorded myself sitting there for 10 minutes trying to get into a match just to prove to everyone uh, how bad it really was and, and that I, I literally did try but just couldn't do it. So, kind of a bust this week for gameplay, really it was. I was very disappointed in Twisted Metal. I could not get through the, the story mode and the multiplayer didn't work. So, that was definitely a shame. But to cap off the week, I did two game reviews. I did Twisted Metal, as you would expect, and I did a review that I've been meaning to do for a while, The Darkness 2. And I have both of those up now for you to see, and I recommend checking them out. Two kind of completely different ends of the spectrum with those two reviews, so um, be sure to go check those out. So that's what I did last week. Much more low-key, considering that I didn't get that much footage of Twisted Metal for various reasons, okay? But... Now I want to talk about this week and the disappointment surrounding the week, okay? And basically it's because for the second time since I've been here on YouTube, since last year, I've been kind of screwed over by Gamefly slash the United States Postal Service. And let me explain. I'll just tell you the chain of events that happened, then we'll talk a little bit about what the plan is. So, the plan was this week for me to do a three-person co-op playthrough of the game Syndicate. I was going to do that with my friend Brandon and... TGP, whose name is Travis, and we were going to do a three-player co-op playthrough of Syndicate this week. And here's the order of events, all right? First of all, Brandon recently subscribed to Gamefly, and I completely, it completely slipped my mind that he only had the one game subscription for Gamefly, which I started out having when I started here on YouTube. And in order to really get a game on release day, uh, or with the first wave of shipments from Gamefly, for the following week, you really need to get the game, at least from where I live, in proximity to my distribution center, I need to get the game back in the mail on a Wednesday night, because if I do that, then the game will ship out on Thursday, 
It will ship Thursday and Friday. It usually takes two days to ship. Then it will get to there on Saturday morning and they will process it, meaning that they receive the game, then they go into your account and clear up a spot for you so that you are able to get another game back. So usually for me, like I said, I have to get it out on Wednesday night because then on Monday, because they don't use mail on Sundays, on Mondays uh, your order will be processed, you'll have an open slot, and they'll send you the next game in your queue. Well, I completely forgot to talk to Brandon about this, and it was Friday before Brandon put Twisted Metal back in the mail, and I said, well, we're completely screwed because there's no way that that Gamefly is going to be able to get that order back and processed by next week to send out Twist to send out Syndicate to him. So I said, we're going to be screwed for next week for the co-op playthrough, and it's kind of my fault. Um, so I talked to him about it. We were kind of bummed out because we wanted to do it this week. Um, on the flip side of that, I had gotten my game out, Darkness 2, on Wednesday night, like I usually do. I put it, I, at least I gave it to the guy at our apartment complex to put it in the outgoing mail the next morning. Whether he put it in a wrong place, it didn't get shipped out, or simply the postal service is slow, I don't know, but they haven't received my game. And I sent it out Wednesday night. Um, and actually, the, the plan was, was that Brandon said, listen, I don't want to do the game late. Um, I'm doing other games, so if you get the game this week, just go ahead and do it without me, uh, which would suck, but my plan was I was just going to go ahead forward anyway and do a two-player co-op with Travis. Well, here's the funny part. Like I said, my game never got there. So, you know, and then the ultimate irony was is that I find out from Brandon that Gamefly did get his game back on Saturday. He sent it out Friday, they got it the next day, and that's because he actually lives, where he lives is in very close proximity to the Gamefly distribution center, so within the same state. Um, so it only took a day for his game to get back, alright? So that's the ultimate irony. I sent my game out Wednesday night, they never got it. He sends it out Friday morning, and they get it. Um, but it doesn't matter, because this Monday, when they usually send out new games, is actually President's Day here in the States. And on President's Day, they don't deliver mail. It's a federal holiday, no mail on Monday. So what Gamefly did is, instead of sending the games out on Tuesday, which would delay the people receiving the games uh, two days, um, they actually sent all the games out for this week on Saturday, which means that I would have had to have or we would have had to have our games back by Friday because if you actually if they get the game back the same day as they ship out new games you won't get it because they actually ship out all the new games at like 6 a.m. the morning of the morning that they ship them out then later in the day they get the incoming names and process the order so if your if your order comes in that day you won't get the shipment because they haven't processed it so I would have had to get or both of us would have had to get our game in on Friday and process for the new games to come out which of course I didn't even think about there being no no mail um, or anything like that. So, yeah, it, it's, it's a big bummer. But here's the bottom line, okay? Is that obviously we're not getting Syndicate on time this week. Because usually what Gamefly will do is on the, on the day that they ship all their games out, they ship all of them out to all the people who had it in their game queue, and then all the rest of the people like myself and, and now Brandon and, and all who... Um, you know, because they did ship them out on Saturday, but like I said, for him, they got his game on Saturday, but they had already shipped out all the games before they received his and processed it, so he didn't get the game sent to him either. Um, all of us don't get the game, and that's exactly what happened to me with Homefront about a year ago, uh, around this time, was that, you know, I didn't have my game back in time, and I couldn't get the game. I sat there all week, and they never sent me the game. Um, so unfortunately, it does not look like we're going to be doing Syndicate this week or Azura's Wrath. I'm not going to be able to do either game this week because both of them have all been sent out. So, really huge bummer. I really wanted to play Syndicate, but of course, this is the problem when you rely on the U.S. Postal Service to, you know, for your hobby and to, to get things done on time. It doesn't always happen, although even though, even if the U.S. Postal Service had got my game back on Saturday, it would have been too late anyway. So, I don't know. I digress, but it sucks. Um, so here's the deal. Here's the situation. Let me lay out the schedule for what I was planning on doing. Okay, This week I was planning on doing, like I said, Syndicate. Next week, there is a release of Binary Domain. And the week after that, the week of March 6th, is of course the release, the release week of Mass Effect 3, which is a giant release. 
but I've said multiple times that I'm not doing Mass Effect 3 in March, I'm actually doing it in the summer for a variety of different reasons, so I actually don't have a game that week that I would be, uh, that would be new for me to play, so I was going to do Azura's Wrath that week. Well, here's now what I'm thinking, alright, because I need to do both these games, Syndicate and Azura's Wrath, and I have no idea when either of them will come. I am, um, uh, I am considering right now not doing Binary Domain next week on the 28th. Because from everything I've read, it seems like Binary Domain is influenced heavily by Japanese culture. It's from the people who made the Yakuza series of games, which is highly influenced by Japanese culture. Which is not exactly up my alley, okay? And the reason I'm considering skipping it is because then, counting this week, I would have three weeks off of new releases until the week of March 13th with Silent Hill Downpour. And therefore what I could do is, I've done Twisted Metal, um, Obviously, there's no point in putting it in the mail until, you know, Monday night because they're not sending mail until Tuesday. Um, I can put that back in the mail and then just sit and have Asura's Wrath and Syndicate sitting in my queue and just wait until they send me the game within the, or, you know, one or two of those games within the three-week period. And then whenever I get the game, I can play it. Um, so that's what I'm considering doing because obviously if I did Binary Domain, that would be another slot taken up. Um... You know, so I don't know. That's It's just what I'm bouncing around in my head. Now, I've talked to Brandon, I've talked to Travis, all right? What I got out of our conversations is that they still want to do Syndicate Co-op because the game just looks really good. And yeah, maybe it'll be late and maybe the popularity and the demand for it will be lower, but bottom line is we do this for fun, okay? We're not making money off of it, so it's not like we have to have it out immediately so maximum people view it. We're doing this for fun, all right? Um... And so, I want to play the game, period, because the game looks really good. And I'd love to do a co-op with those guys. I think it'd be a ton of fun. And, you know, but the problem is, is that Brandon, I believe, is doing Binary Domain. Um, but And he only has the one game out at a time planned. So if he's doing Binary Domain, he's completely locked in with that game. Um... I don't actually know if Travis is buying Syndicate or renting it. I don't really know what's going on. So we need to talk more. We need to do more collaboration. But I think our goal is to still do a three-player co-op of Syndicate. I could be wrong in that assumption. If I am wrong, one of them I'm sure will let me know uh, if I got that mistaken. But bottom line is, is I'm playing Syndicate, okay? I promise I'm playing the game. i love to do a co-op with those two, but if the planes don't, don't mesh together, it's, you know... If I have to do the game by myself, I will. I don't want to do it by myself because it's going to be not nearly as fun. I may look for people on YouTube who are interested in doing a co-op playthrough of Syndicate with me. Um, you know, we'll just have to see what happens uh, over the course of the, of the coming weeks. I'll talk to Brandon, I'll talk to Travis about their plans. But I want to get it done. Azura's Wrath, I can do it whenever it comes in because it's single player. Um, but I'll talk more about those plans coming up. Next week's channel update, obviously, I'll let you know whether or not I'm doing Binary Domain. This is a per this week is a perfect candidate for me to do a midweek update because it's it's possible that I will talk to these guys and find something out uh, about what we're doing during this, this week, and then I'll make a midweek update letting you guys know what our plans are, but um, we'll see. Okay, we'll see what happens with those two games, and I will let you guys know as more information becomes available. All right? So since that's not happening this week... Let's talk about what will be happening this week on my channel. Uh, it basically means that the gameplay footage you're going to see is going to be kind of random stuff, all right? Now, there's there's two things I definitely want to do this week that I'll probably do earlier in the week, and that is, number one, I want to do the Mass Effect 3 demo, okay? And the only reason I haven't done it this week is because I was doing some Twisted Metal stuff, and actually, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but I had uh, a little bit of a, of a medical concern over the past couple of days that's kind of got me down and worried a little bit, and therefore I haven't been in the mood to really do gameplay, but I, I got it all pretty much taken care of today, so I'm I'm fine again, I'm on the upbeat. Um, so I will get around to doing the Mass Effect 3 demo, and I am going to do the Binary Domain demo, just, just to do it. And, you know, if I play the demo and really enjoy the demo, then maybe I won't skip the game. And, you know, we'll see what happens, but I am going to do that demo just to see what it's all about. So those two things I would definitely want to do. Now, for the rest of the footage this week, who knows? Um, 
Brandon and I were talking about doing gameplay of the Starhawk beta, uh, which I haven't done, and he's really he's been playing the beta. He really enjoys it. He's really looking forward to the game. Um, so I could do some Starhawk beta, um, possibly more Gotham City imposters. Um, I could do some Skyrim footage. I don't know. Maybe I'll have the Ursa jump back into that game. Uh, but definitely what I want to do, okay, since, in case you guys don't remember, I, I do have, um, through Wednesday completely off of school, and then Thursday and Friday I only have two classes each of those days, so, and then of course the weekend again, so it's almost like I have a full week off, more or less. Um, I really am going to make a hard effort, since I don't have any pending games this week, unless I randomly get one of these games sent to me at the end of the week, which I don't foresee happening. I am really going to put my nose to the grindstone, I think, and try to crank out these urine videos. Now, I'm not promising that I'm going to finish the series this week, okay? But what I am saying is that, and this will probably happen later in the week, because earlier in the week I'll be probably doing gameplay. So this will probably occur over the course of uh, Thursday, Friday, into the weekend of me working hard on these urine videos. But they have to get done. At this point, it's just like mandatory. We're almost into March now. And I don't have my, my top 10 games out for 2011, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. So I really need to get those done. Um, and this is a perfect week because, like I said, there's no pending releases that I'm able to play this week because of what happened. And so I'm going to really work hard at trying to get those videos done and out to you. Okay, I'm not promising they'll be finished. I believe I have like seven more videos to do. They're very time consuming. But I'm going to make a very big effort to try to get as many as I can, try to get done as many as I can this week and get those out to you so that, you know, I finally get through that. Um, also later in the week, this is a Voodoo's Brew week. We will have episode four of Voodoo's Brew for you coming out later this week. Already some, some interesting topics I have bouncing around in my head that we could address in this week's episode. Um, it's It's... I think it's going to be a lot easier now to have episodes and have content to talk about considering Brandon now has a channel. So there's all kinds of stuff we can talk about together uh, having to do with our with our channels, experiences that we both had with them. Uh, obviously, what's been going on with Gamefly and all this is a perfect opportunity to, is a perfect topic to, to bring up and discuss. So, um, Voodoo's Brew will happen probably later this week. I'll get in touch with Brandon. We'll talk about it and, uh, and come up with, with a good episode for you. Um, and that's basically it. So I do apologize greatly. I know Brandon apologizes. We, you know, all of us are, are sorry that we're not going to have this syndicate co-op playthrough for you this week. We're really bummed out about it. We really wanted to do it. But unfortunately, just, uh, you know, from lack of us paying attention or whatever it is, with me not even considering the fact that Monday was going to be President's Day, um, and they wouldn't have any mail, and they might send the game out Saturday. I, you know, obviously I'm a busy person, and, and some of these things slip, slip by unnoticed. Because um, I said I could have sent the Darkness two back earlier, but I wasn't paying attention and figured if I sent it out Wednesday night, it should be fine, just like all the other weeks. But obviously it was not. Um, so, yeah, we're sorry about that. I'm going to talk to those those two guys, like I said. I really would like us to do a three-player co-op game of Syndicate. I still think it's going to be really good and really funny, even if it's a little late. I still think people will enjoy the enjoy the playthrough. So, um, We'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens with the Service Wrath. Like I said, whenever that game comes in, I can do it, because it's just single player. And then this week, expect just some different stuff. Definitely expect the Mass Effect 3 beta. Definitely beta. Mass Effect 3 demo. Expect the binary domain demo. Then some random gameplay this week. I don't know what it's going to be. We'll, we'll figure something out. And then later in the week, urine videos. And um, I can't even call them urine videos anymore because it's way past that. Just call it, say top 10 videos. I'll be putting out more top 10 videos. And we'll cap the week off with a new episode of Voodoo's Brew. Also, one last note before we go. Um... All of the gameplay I did this week, all of the Twisted Metal gameplay, all went through for monetization. So, I don't exactly know what's going on right now. It seems like if I submit content when it's new, like right when I uploaded it, gameplay footage for monetization, it works. But if I try to monetize old gameplay footage, it doesn't work. So, 
everything is going through right now and being monetized, so you're seeing ads on everything I've been putting up over the past week. I'm going to continue to try to do that, so any new gameplay I do, I'll try to get ads on them. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work consistently or if it's not. I really don't know. But we'll see what happens, but videos like this will definitely still continue to be monetized. Channel updates, Voodoo's Brew, game reviews, Voodoo's Thoughts, all that stuff will definitely still be monetized. And we'll see what happens with the gameplay, but so far so good. Okay, so thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned. Like I said, perfect candidate week for a midweek update. If I find anything else on that playthrough, I will let you know. And again, I'm sorry. And just go ahead and watch the stuff that I've been putting up and watch the stuff uh, that I put up this week. Because even though it'll be random, it'll still be fun and entertaining. All right? So, I'm Voodoo51292. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys this week. And don't miss Voodoo's Brew, Episode 4. Brandon and I are excited about this. We're trying to make uh, the, the show a success. So don't forget about Voodoo's Brew. Check it out later this week, all right? So I'm Voodoo51292. Also be sure to check out my Twitter, at Voodoo51292, which I'll link you to in the description of this video. You can also get to it from my main channel by clicking the Twitter icon, because I will be using Twitter this week to post up what I'm playing, when I'm playing it, when I'm uploading it. And since this week is kind of kind of going to be random gameplay, you definitely want to check out my Twitter to find out what I'm doing and what footage you can expect. So go over there to my Twitter, check it out, follow me over there, and you'll get all the info, alright? So I'm, I'm done. I promise I'm done talking. It's a long video. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you this week. I'll let you know more info.